Box springs or platform beds? Cotton sheets or microfiber? Do I buy comforters or duvet covers or what the heck is triple sheeting? These are just a few of the questions you might be asking yourself or overwhelming yourself with when setting up a bedroom at your short-term rental property. What's up guys, I'm Steven. And I'm Kylie. And this video is actually part two of our Airbnb bedroom setup series. But if you missed the first one, no worries. They don't have to necessarily be in order. So you can always go back and watch the first one after this. Just like in our first video, we're gonna take a step-by-step -step approach and go from bed frames to pillows and try and make the process of setting up your bedroom and your short-term rental as quick and as painless as possible. This is essentially our recipe for a perfect bed setup. One that gives guests a comfortable night's sleep without spending a fortune on linens. And one that will keep your cleaning team from threatening to quit on you. <laughs> More on that later. The first step is to pick the right base. We prefer to buy either solid wood or upholstered platform beds, meaning that you won't need a box spring. We've also purchased a few metal frame beds in the past, and we're not talking about those cheapo metal framed beds that fold up and might have wheels, the wheels on them. Yeah. We mean a nice looking metal bed. But if you do get a metal bed, be prepared to have to tighten that up a little more regularly than a wood bed because they tend to get a little wobbly. Yeah, I think with guest use and just the metal on metal with fasteners, they tend to loosen up over time. We have one at one of our properties, Saguaro, and we kind of count on tightening it up at least once a year. So not a huge deal, but just something to add to your maintenance list. Another thing to keep in mind is that platform beds in general are a little lower than your standard box spring bed, but some of the ones on the market are really low, so make sure you're looking at the height before you buy it. We typically purchase bed frames from either Amazon or Wayfair, and when it comes to wood frame beds, we really like the Zinus brand a lot. These are easy to assemble, and we've had some of them in use for more than five years, and they're still going strong. Some of those Zinus beds don't have a headboard, so we've either purchased those separately from Wayfair, Urban Outfit has some cute ones. Or if you're the creative type, we've also done some DIY projects and made nice headboards ourselves. After the bed frame comes the mattress, and we always buy a bed-in-the-box style memory foam mattress. For years, we were buying a Zinus brand mattress. It's called the Green Tea Memory Foam Mattress in either 10 or 12 inches, and we were getting awesome guest reviews on those. But we started to notice, and I don't know if we were just imagining it or what, but we started to feel like they were starting to get more firm. Like the older ones were more plush than the newer ones. I mean, they were always fairly firm. Memory foam mattresses in general are on the firmer side, but we're both pretty sure we noticed kind of a change over time. And then we had some friends buy one and my parents bought one and both of them returned it. And so we just started thinking, you know, guests haven't complained, but maybe it's time to start shopping around and see if there's something better out there. We did a lot of shopping around and we settled on the plush version of the Wayfair Sleep series of mattresses. And we've been really happy with those for at least the last year we've been buying those exclusively. Yeah, we actually bought one for ourselves before introducing it to the properties. We slept on it for a while, still sleep on it, and now that's, yeah, now that's our go-to mattress. If you already have a mattress in your SDR that sucks, our honest recommendation would be to get rid of it. Yeah, old school spring mattresses are just old. <laughs> and if for some reason you can't get rid of it, if you're co-hosting or managing and the owner won't get rid of it, consider uh, buying a memory foam topper for that mattress. Like order it today so that it gets here before your next guest. Because people are paying you for a comfortable place to sleep at night and it's only a matter of time before it's going to start reflecting negatively in your reviews. We'll link a mattress topper that we like in the description below. And then we always, always, always use a waterproof zippered mattress encasement plus pillow protectors for all of the sleeping pillows. Yeah, this is a way to protect yourself against stains, against, you know, wear and tear. Bed and bugs. Bed bugs. Easy thing to implement and will keep your mattresses and pillows in good shape. And speaking of pillows, sleeping pillows are the next step in our recipe for the perfect bed. But before we get started, I want to do a little poll. So if you would please be so kind as to leave us a comment below and tell us two things. First, how many pillows you like to sleep with? And second, what your preferred level of firmness is in a sleeping pillow. We know that everyone has a preference and a lot of different preferences when it comes to pillows. So we always try to leave two different levels of firmness, one memory foam pillow 
and one plush down alternative uh, softer pillow. We have our favorite pillows and everything else that we like to buy when setting up a short-term rental on our sample inventory, which you can access for free using the link in the description below. The memory foam pillow we like is from Target, and we like to buy the plush pillow from Amazon. It comes in a two-pack. Costco is another great option for pillows, and regardless of where you buy it, we tend to go for a mid-range price. When we set up our first property, we bought very cheap pillows, and they got lumpy and just got uncomfortable very quickly, don't cheap out on the pillows. We also don't like to go too crazy on the price for pillows because they do sometimes get swapped out for people's personal pillows. Not sure if it's on purpose or accidental, but it does happen. So two per person that the bed sleeps is our rule of thumb. So a king bed would get four pillows total, two memory foam and two plush. Queen would be the same, and then a double or full bed, and that depends on the occupancy of the house. So we have some properties where it's one double bed in a room and it's intended to sleep up to two people. We have another property that has two double beds in one room that's an only intended to sleep one per bed. Yeah, so in those cases, or in the case of a twin bed, we just leave two pillows on each bed, one plush, one memory foam. One quick tip about pillows and pillow protectors. When you put those zippered encasements on the pillow, if you don't get all of the air out before you zip it all the way up it can trap air inside and it can make the pillow feel a lot harder than it actually is so make sure that you're squeezing all the air out before you zip it all the way up so you found your perfect bed frame you've ordered your mattress your pillows and your encasements and now it's time to layer on your bedding and now is also the time where you get some pretty polarizing opinions on what is the best option for a short-term rental. And just like everyone has preferences when it comes to mattress firmness or pillow types, not everyone is going to agree with our bedding choices. And that's okay. Honestly, we aren't going to sit here and try to convince you that our way is the best way. But we can tell you that we have received really great reviews about our bedding choices and our cleaners are happy because we've thought of them and their level of effort required when picking out all of the pieces of linens for our bedding. So we start with microfiber sheets. We like microfiber because they're super soft. They dry way faster than cotton. They're not as prone to wrinkles. And or stains. Or stains, and they're inexpensive without feeling cheap. We like the Milani brand from Amazon, and now's a good time to point out, don't forget to buy two sets of items for each bed to facilitate same-day turnovers. The next layer after sheets is a warm bed blanket. So in the winter time, we make that blanket into the bed, and in the warmer months of the year, we keep one folded in the closet for guests to add on as needed. And at this point, we've probably bought hundreds of them across all the properties. They look nice, they feel substantial, and they're warm, but they also magically don't take like hours to dry in the dryer. So our guests like them and our cleaning team likes them. And over the bed blanket, we layer a simple white quilt. This is a process we started with our very first property and we've liked it and continued to use it ever since. The main reason that we use quilts instead of duvet covers or comforters is plain and simple. Our cleaners prefer it. Comforters take forever to dry and duvet covers are really just a pain to take on and off. So think of your cleaning team when you're making those purchases, not only for whether or not you're gonna use quilts versus a duvet cover, but also how you can set them up to keep things organized and keep sorting as quick and easy as possible. For sheets, we always go through and mark the tags with a Sharpie. The printed on labels sometimes start to fade over time. For the warm blankets, we always buy a different color for each bed size, so you can quickly see which ones belong in which room. And for the quilts, we always buy white, but the brand we buy is available in different stitch patterns. So we buy a different stitch pattern for the different bed types. If you or one of your clients is insistent on using duvet covers, either because you like the look better, or maybe your property's in a winter climate and you want that extra warmth that a duvet can give, check out Fix Linens. We really like their triple zip duvet covers. They have a three-sided zipper system, so it's a lot easier to take them on and off. And we'll leave a discount code for you in the description below. We actually had a cleaner that threatened to quit a property on us. She wanted to charge $30 per bed per cleaning to deal with duvet covers. That was a while ago, and maybe she would have liked fixed linens had we had those. So those are the essentials when it comes to setting up your bed at a short-term rental. You can add some personalization with decorative pillows and throw blankets. We'll be covering that and more in the design section of this bedroom setup series. So be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss that video when it comes out soon. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.